do you want to be recorded? Would you like to? Would you like to come? You can. You can come. You can be a part of this. This is for MTSU. This is a project. And you know, I mean, you're wearing the Blue Raiders. Uh, my name is Chris, Bergman, and I've been working for my wife Karen for the last 19 years. Back when Karen started this business, it was a home-based business because she was a single mom of three kids and she needed something to do that would raise an income without having to leave the kids in daycare all the time. Um, and she ended up doing gift baskets for corporate companies that uh, would do a seasonal gift. Uh, when I came along, uh, the, the gift basket industry in our, in our house had grown into more than half the house. Uh, and by the time that you raise three kids and uh, two adults and one, <laughs> one small house with a company, we were ready to get out of that uh, uh, situation and, and move to a storefront. The chocolates come from all over the U.S., some of the nation's top truffleteers and chocolatiers. And from time to time, we also import from Europe, so we have some European chocolates as well. The uh, ornaments are designed by me, actually, and uh, I have a, a company that works with me. It takes about a year to, uh, to take it from idea to sketch to model to a full-blown ornament. The original Murfreesboro ornament came out in 1998 and was the first in a series of Murfreesboro orna ornaments. We, uh, we started with the iconic courthouse and you can actually see our little purple awning at the time there. Uh, and we, uh, we chose to do a different scene each year. So for the past 19 years, we've put out one ornament every year. We talked about it and knew that historic downtown Murfreesboro was the place we wanted to be simply because we had both grown up here in Murfreesboro. No malls, no strip centers for us. We wanted to be in the heart of, of town.